Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahol of Second Swing Golf, joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter here at the Second Swing Tour Van. We've got a great iron comparison for you today. Uh, the last two generations of Mizuno iron releases, the MP20 and the JPX921. We've got all seven models combined from those two series. We're going to test all of them against one another. Uh, they kind of cover every basis, right, in terms of the players out there. Uh, game improvement, players distance, players irons, they're all in this series. Uh, so Thomas, you know, I know you're very familiar with both uh, iron series from Mizuno the last couple of years. What can you tell us about what we'll see in this test? Yeah, so this test will help you decide which Mizuno iron best fits your game. So we will probably expect the more forgiving models to go a little bit further because the loft is a little bit stronger mm -hmm. on those models. So along the lines of your JPX 921 Hot Metal and Hot Metal Pro, yeah. expect them to go a little bit further with regards to distance. And then I would also expect your MP20 and your JPX 921 Tour, your maybe more workable irons to maybe be easier to work the bull, maybe not go quite as far because the loft is a little bit weaker on those models. Yeah. So now, of course, with all these tests, we kind of like to outline the shaft and some of the, you know, the, the format of the test. What's that going to look like today? Yeah, so all seven models, we're going to hit five shots with each one. Got the Project X LZ 6.5 Golf Shaft. It's a shaft I've been playing for about three or four years in my current irons. And then we have the uh, Titleist Probably One X Golf Ball. So to go over the seven models that we are going to be testing, First, we've got the MP20 line. So we have the MP20 Blade, the MP20 MMC, and the MP20 HMB. In the JPX 921 line, we have the JPX 921 Tor, the JPX 921 Forged, the JPX 921 Hot Metal Pro, and the JPX 921 Hot Metal. Nice, well yeah, it's always fun to get these club comparisons together and, and shoot them and get them together for the viewers out there. Uh, of course, you watch these videos and you enjoy them, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We love putting these together and we got a bunch more in the future for you as well. So Thomas, let's get after it. All right, let's do it. Okay, well Thomas, we'll start with the JPX 921 Hot Metal. Okay. Starting me out with a little bit more forgiving yeah, club, I yeah. see. Just, you know, get you warmed up and then we'll maybe bounce around the, the spectrum, if you will. I see how it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So looking at the specs, this club's got like the most amount of offset. It's going to be the, mm -hmm. also the, probably the stronger loft, strongest lofted club also. Yep, 29 yep. degrees. And uh, that's, you know, this is probably built for distance more than any iron, you know, from Mizuno in 2020 or 2021 here. So that's, um, you know, you got that Cromley 4140 material there that's you know that strong material that's kind of been key for them in the jpx irons for uh last few generations so uh that's it's it's explosive for sure all right well let's see how explosive it is Was hit solid. Yeah, to Thomas, five shots. The JPX 921 hot metal. Uh, I noticed that it was kind of loud, um, and we have been doing some testing already today, where you know hitting maybe more of a player's iron, so that maybe is the reason why it just seems so loud. But what did you think about that, and how did it feel, and what do you think of the numbers initially? Ball speed and distance is probably the biggest thing I noticed. Yeah. Um, I think my ball speed was consistently over 130. Distance was consistently carrying over 200 yards. I had one in there, I think shot four, I said, oh, I caught that one a little bit heavy. Spin rate dropped a little bit on it, but it still carried over 200 yards. Yep. So that was the big thing I kind of noticed there is kind of ball speed and distance there and maybe a little bit less spin on the, uh, that's pretty, pretty, some pretty high numbers for a seven iron. Yeah, yeah. you don't see seven irons carrying at, you know, with every shot repeatedly over 200 yards very often. So, uh, and now that spin is, you know, in the 4,500 range, a little bit low, but um, that's, you know, this is a 29 degree seven iron. So that's gonna be part of the reason why that spin is a little bit lower. Yep, also a little bit harder to see my J 
general ball flight, what I like to see, it stayed out to the right just a little bit, just starting yeah. a little right and just kind of stayed there. So that was the other thing I noticed there too, it was mm -hmm. just not as much workability with these irons. Right, well, yeah. speaking of workability, we can maybe get into something that has a little bit more of that here with the MP20 MMC. Are you going from one end of the spectrum to the other? I like <laughs> yeah. it. MP20 MMC firmly in that player's cavity category, uh, 32 degrees of loft. Um, what did you think about the feel and the look compared to the hot metal? Uh, definitely more appealing look than I like to look down at for, for an iron. Um, it presented me a little bit more confidence to know that I can work the ball a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, I think I was able to draw the ball every single time with, with that club, where I, when I hit the hot metal, it didn't quite turn over. So I just right. go straight, essentially. So that was kind mm -hmm. of the big difference there. Hey, you can see that right there. Yeah, um, you can see on the circles, you know, you got a little bit more uh, towards the left with the MMC. Yeah. yeah. Uh, big difference also is spin. So spin, you notice, yep. it spun about probably 800 RPMs higher. So that was, launch angle was the exact same, but the spin rate was 800 RPMs higher. Mm -hmm and then it went about 11 yards shorter there as well. So, yeah. great looking club. I, it, I mean, feel wise, it's, it's an incredible feel. I always yeah. say it's about Mizuno irons. They feel, the forged irons especially feel really, really good off the face. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, well, speaking of the forged irons, let's go to another one, the JPX 921 forged. Okay. So the JPX 921 forged is probably more in that player's distance category, correct? Um, so, you know, the, probably a pretty solid difference and distinct difference between the, both of the previous two models that you've hit so far in terms of look and the feel as well. I feel like that it would almost split right in between the hot metal and the MMC, the other two models that I've already hit mm -hmm. so far. So I feel like right in between with regards to probably distance and spin and just kind of workability in, in general. So you're yep. seeing on the Dispur, you, you brought that up in, in between and then you look behind you on the circle here and that, that purple one's right in between both of them. And yep. then you mentioned spin at 5,000, right in between both yep. of them. Look at carry distance, basically splitting the difference. So you're kind of kind of nailed that one there. Yep. And the, the this is the JPX 921 Forge is at 31 degrees of loft. So that is in between as well. The MMC is 32, hot metal is 29. So this is sort of along kind of what you would expect, right? Yeah, I would ex exactly expect that. Um, offset wise, I'm not seeing you know, as much offset as the uh, hot metal when I was yep. hitting that one. MMC had a pretty similar, maybe a little bit less offset, kind of mm -hmm. looking down at between, between the tone there too, but enough workability with forgiveness hidden in there because obviously it's a distance player's iron, so it was going pretty far yeah. as well. So Yeah. Well, uh, let's go back to the MP series here. We'll go to, let's just go to the blade, huh? MP20 right. blade. I'm excited for this one. Okay, well, Thomas, that has to be the most compact head, right, that you've hit so far. Uh, the MP20 blade, uh, it's got that copper underlayer for, you know, that extreme soft and, you know, superb feel that Mizuno is known for. Extremely soft, yeah. yes. It, it, you know, it feels incredible, for sure, it feels the best out of them all. Mm -hmm. Now, the great shots feel awesome. 
the slight mishits. You know, I maybe got a little bit of punish there, but uh, you will definitely get a punish if you don't hit it always in the middle of the face with these models. Right, that's the whole, yeah. I mean, more workability, less forgiveness. And I think you even had one that maybe surprised you forgiveness-wise because you did, you mishit one of them there, and then you kind of realized that, hey, maybe it wasn't so bad. I think it was the, yeah. the one four zero smash. Yep. And it's it's right up there. Compa I mean, the carry distance is virtually the same, so. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Who knows, maybe dispersion, a little bit wider left to right. Yeah. Um, probably of all these circles here, it's probably the largest left to right, and it's all going the shortest distance, too. Normally, you'd expect yeah. the one that goes the longest to maybe be the furthest apart, because then the ball goes further, it's going to go further offline. Sure. Why don't we but go to the uh, JPX 921 Hot Metal Pro here? Okay. Sounds good. That was not a miss hit. Thomas, I remember when we tested these out initially when they were released, um, you really were impressed with the JPX 920, 921 Hot Metal Pro. And the numbers and the performance here, I mean, this thing was explosive. Uh, and it's virtually the same club as the hot metal, just a little more compact shape. But the material, the loft, the specs are pretty much the same. So what do you think about that? Yeah, I do like the look of the hot metal pro versus the hot metal. Um, for sure, more appealing on the eye. Looks similar to looking down at the JPX forged, the 921 forged, okay. looking down at it, but I just know it's got a little extra juice behind it. I think there was yeah. two, maybe three there that I had a smash factor pushing 1.50. Yep. I believe shot one I miss hit. Shot one I didn't quite catch as well, so now it's a yeah. 145, a little bit shorter there. But otherwise, I've got three, well, 149, 150, 150 with, with this which is quite incredible for yeah. a uh, for a seven iron. So it's it's definitely got some juice behind it. It's definitely got some forgiveness there as well. So so yeah, I think one thing too that to note with a game improvement type iron is that you know when these irons are built for distance like that, there is that potential for like a jumper uh, in distance wise, and you yep. see a w kind of a wider variance of carry distance here maybe. Uh, then you know, maybe some of the other players' irons, uh, once we'll take a look at the numbers a little deeper, we'll see that. But that's one thing to note there as well. But now uh, we can go into the last model here of the MP20 series, which is the MP20 HMB. Okay. was worth the wait. Yeah. Some pretty solid stuff from the MP20 HMB. That is, so now that one at address, what's that like? Because it is probably a player's distance iron, right? But it has the, you know, if you look from like a distance, it looks like a blade almost the way it's built and the way it's shaped. So what, how would you characterize that? At address, I guess the in summary for me, the closest it looks like is the Hot Metal Pro. Okay. With a little bit more loft. But okay. has that incredible forged feel. Yeah. That the Mizuno MP20 line provides. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of the difference there is, I mean, so you mentioned the loft, 32 degrees of loft. So that's the same actually as the MP20 MMC. Yep. Uh, and then it's just got kind of, the, it's a bit of a hollow shape there, but still does have that, that feel that Mizuno is known for. And looking at the circle here, the the MP20 HMB might be the smallest. Now we'll get into yeah. the numbers, dive dive you know deeper a little bit here. But uh, at 32 degrees aloft, you ended up you know carrying it nearly 195 um, over 200 total. That's 
Oh, that's pretty pretty yeah. solid. I was impressed with this. I, I love that it gave me the ability to just hit a little bit of a draw. Yeah. And but have forgiveness there. I feel like it pretty much did the exact same every single time. That yeah. was what it felt like. And it just, yeah, Watching nice the, little gentle little draw. The shot shapes were very similar, just you know, yep. steady little draw. Uh, but now we can get to the final iron of our test here, the JPX 921 Tour. Okay. better all right well the initial impression there the jpx 921 tour also 34 degrees of loft which is the same as the mp20 blade so how does that compare to some of the other ones that you've tested it seemed like the spin rate was just a little bit on the higher side compared to the other models now that is the loft 34 degrees of loft versus some of these other models when they were spinning a little bit on the on the lower side um, Pretty solid numbers overall. Didn't notice had a couple of miss it, so that's why the dispersion pattern got a little, little bit wider with this one. Yeah. Also, this is the last club, so I mean, did a lot of club testing here today as well. Yeah. So a couple of them might have been just a little bit off, off swings, but pretty good overall. Um, nice consistency. Felt really good, you know, off, off the club face. Definitely, you know, the forged feel, the offset looking down at it. You know, I'd say it's. That and the MP20, probably the most appealing for me to look down at yeah. based on the, the offset numbers Lowest there. amount of offset, with those two. Those two, yeah. So it's, it's a good looking club. Yeah. So I mean, for, I wanted to give you credit for swinging as much as you have and keeping the, uh, the club speed pretty darn consistent. You got you're pretty much in that 90 miles an hour range throughout the whole test. So, but you mentioned the spin. Kind of did spike a little bit with the JPX 921 Tour. We're at nearly, well, 5,800 essentially there. Yeah. 5,400 uh, basically for the MP20. So yeah, it was spinning a little bit, a little more. It wasn't yeah. curving as much to the left mm -hmm. as the MP20 was. Correct. So that's probably part of the reason why it wasn't quite spinning as much, but definitely the highest spinning model of, of all mm -hmm. the clubs that we hit. Yeah, well, why don't we uh, take a further look here at this data and break down all these Mizuno irons. Sounds good. Okay, Thomas, you've got your spot at the computer there. Um, you've got all these, what was it, 35 shots? Uh, so lots of data to break down. What can you tell us about the newest Mizuno iron lines? Yeah, so you were right. My club speed was basically 90 to 91. I think the highest was 91.2 and the lowest was 89.9. So very, very consistent with regards to, s to swing speed. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a great test as we compare all the other numbers across the board. So let's look at bull speed first. So Mizuno Hot Metal Pro 134.6. Mizuno Hot Metal 133. So those two with 29 degrees of loft on them had the yeah. you know, highest amount of, uh, of ball speed. Uh, you'll notice 148 smashed with the Hot Metal Pro. So that one I did technically hit probably the best out of all the models. Maybe that slightly smaller Pro model for me just is a little more appealing. And okay. um, I did swing a little faster. That was the highest swing speed club that we had. So that's why it was probably going the furthest out of yeah. kind of all, the, all the numbers there as well. So that was what I kind of noticed. Um, if we look at spin, so this is important to compare all the different models. We're going to range from about 4,400 RPM, 4,450 to 5,800. So there's a range there of about 1,300 RPMs of spin. Now that's the loft on the clubs, again, that is kind of leading to that and also the way the center of gravity is designed in each model to either get the ball up in the air yeah. or be a little more of a player's or more forgiving model there as well. Speaking of spin, I want to touch on something here. Spin consistency. So Mizuno MP20, plus or minus 61 for those five shots. So the reason why I play a blade in my bag is I want the ball to do the exact same thing every single time. Yep. You mentioned the word flyer earlier on this video. That scares me. For sure, that definitely scares me as I get a jumper that's gonna maybe go 10, 15 yards further, go over the green, turn my birdie chance into a bowl or even a double if there's a yeah. water hazard over the green there too. So blade, spin consistent, very, very good. 
and then also carry distance consistency of one plus or minus one. Yeah. That was also the lowest as we're kind of comparing them all there as well. So MP20 blade for sure was yeah. most consistent with regards to kind of numbers. And also that's exciting because it's you know, the least forgiving model as well. So just tells me that from myself personally, yeah. Better players, MP20 is going to be giving right. a little more consistency there as yeah, well. Yeah, that does depend on the player. That's kind of part of this video, right? We want to maybe show people, you know, the advantages and disadvantages of each Mizuno model from, I guess, the last couple of releases that they've had. So if you want pure consistency in terms of, you know, the exact carry number, you hit the ball in the center of the face almost every time, like Thomas does. Something like the MP20 is going to be kind of to your benefit, where you can really control that ball and you know what's going to happen. Yep. If you kind of maybe need some forgiveness or you want that extra distance or you won't be as punished maybe by maybe an extra flyer. You kind of want that distance. That's for maybe a hot metal or hot metal pro iron would be to your benefit. Well, you mentioned the hot metal. Hot metal was technically tied second with the MMC with regards to carry distance consistency, plus or minus 1.6. Oh, okay. So the fact that it was going about 15 yards further than the MP20 blade was but still the consistency of carrying 1.6 yards shows for sure the consistency that you want to get out of a given club as well. Yeah. So it was a nice consistency with regards to kind of carry there as well. Um, speaking of carry distance, the club that gave me the highest carry distance was the Hot Metal Pro 204, um, Hot Metal 203.5. So both those two with them being 29 degrees aloft, yeah. about the same with regards to carry distance, that's what I would expect. Uh, also, MP20, 34 degrees aloft, 188.2 carry. JPX 921 Tour, also 34 degrees aloft, 187.2. So, loft doesn't lie, essentially. Yeah. Um, the reason why clubs go further than others is to do with the loft presented on that club at impact yeah. and also that, that dynamic loft as well. Right. And then, of course, too, there's, there is that idea of you know, how the club is constructed. Right, you know, the Hot Metal, Hot Metal Pro are probably the two game improvement models in this test. And that's, could throw that into the reasons as well as to why it might be going, you know, 15-ish yards further um, than maybe the MP20, for example, or the JPX 921 Tour. Yep. Whereas those models are the player's irons built for workability more so than distance or forgiveness. Yeah, so touching on workability first, take a look at this, uh, I'm gonna expand this screen right here. So if you can take a look at this screen, what, what stands out to you with regards to the furthest shots to the left and the furthest to the right? You kind of have your player's irons to the left here, yep. right? And then the sort of least workable are out to the right, because you kind of like to hit that draw. Exactly, so workability, you're gonna get that out of a more of a, a blade model. So something along the lines of an MP20, MP20 MMC, maybe MP20 hot metal, uh, HMB kind of along the lines, JPX 921 Tour, those four models essentially I would say would be considered the more kind of workable models. Those were those ones in this general area. And then your little more forgiving clubs, they're just designed to fly straight. Yeah. And when I take a look back over here at um, Curve, you will notice, and Curve is all the way to the right. So Curve, the hot metal, four feet of curve to the right. So that was the only club that I was unable to curve to the left, and that yeah. was because it was the most forgiving kind of yep. model there That as one's well. built to fly straight. Yeah. And so it's, it's not, I mean, for someone like you who does like to play sort of a draw and work that over, uh, it will just kind of straighten that out and almost, almost resist the draw. Yep. Uh, but, you know, for someone who maybe does struggle with a slice or a big hook and wants to straighten that out, that's where you can see the hot metal would be an advantage because that ball will stay straight on its line. Yeah, and then at the other end of the spectrum, the MP20, the more workable club, the 39 feet of curve to the left, that was the highest amount of them all. Second highest was the JPX 921 Tour, which also is yeah. in that more workable kind of area. So it's interesting to take a look at trends and see how the clubs, you know, I love looking at this screen when you get a few different circles to take a look at and yeah. notice how a more workable club, easy to do what the player wants it to do where a more forgiving club is designed to you know, just fly straight for the player right. um, to limit the curve on the golf ball. Right, and Mizuno irons, of course, they deliver in all aspects. They kind of, you know, they, historically it's been a player's irons, all about the feel and stuff, but these Hot Metal and Hot Metal Pro models lately have really delivered, and they've kind of packed that punch, and of course, 
they deliver a straight ball flight. So uh, for golfers out there interested in a new iron set, seven new ones here from Mizuno over the past couple of years in their releases with the MP20 line and the JPX921 line. All seven are excellent. It just kind of depends on what you're looking for in your game. So recommend talking to someone at Second Swing like Thomas, one of our master club fitters, or one of our online fitting and support team members, and they'll get you set up with a new iron set. So Thomas, thanks for hitting 35 golf shots and breaking it all down for us.